Oi, what's up boys and grots and little snots and can't forget the digger knobs. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien, and in this video we're going to continue to explore the Orc miniature range, and this time we're going to take a look at Boom Dacker Snazwagon. So this kit comes with one Citadel miniature, Hertelin Pyromaniac Battle Buggy. This time it comes with a Death Skull logo in the corner, which looks really nice. Mech Special Snazzy Dacker. Stupid git, what needs a lesson? Burner bottle. Pyro nutter. Rear axle bits. Grot blaster. Boss pipes. Now we've got a Evil Sons logo. Suggested Citadel paint scheme. Orc flesh. Red. And metals. Then we've got all these little circles or bubbles of key points of the vehicle. So we've got our orc with burner bottle here. Now we've got our stupid git what needs a lesson here. Looking quite scared. Big, big wide open eyes. Got another orc with his burner bottle here. So we've got a part of the gunner orc here. Got our good old Grot Blaster here, looks really good, awesome face on him. Then we've got another image of our Grot Blaster. We've got our suggested paint scheme for blue. Then we've got a side view of the whole vehicle put together. Looks really but nice. Like always, we'll bust this open and we'll have a look. We have our assembly guide. Our big sprue and our huge base. Before assembling your miniatures, please read through the instructions in this booklet carefully. A pair of plastic cutters is required to remove the plastic components in this kit from the frame. We advise using a mold line scraping tool to clean up the parts. To assemble your model, you will need plastic glue. Games Workshop sells Citadel fine detail cutters. Citadel mold line remover and Citadel plastic glue, but does not recommend these products for use by children under the age of 16 without adult supervision. So we've got one A here. So this is the engine by the looks of it. Nice big chunky engine. The yellow that you can see here is where you place your glue and the two parts meet together. So you can see here again, the blue on this is the previous step so it shows what's already been glued these two parts are obviously glued together hence the blue little part here yet again the yellow is where the two parts meet or where you're going to put your glue so you're going to put these two parts on the side here and then you're going to put this front part on make sure that you look at the symbols at the front we've got dry fit stage before gluing paint before assembly and then repeat process so as you're building, if you forget what this is, go back to the front of the manual and it will show your symbols. So this is paint before assembly. I to paint this whole engine. Now it's put together before you assemble onto the next stage. But obviously you can go through the manual and then spray the parts that you need. So you'll spray this and then you'll spray the other completed components. And then you can paint and then glue together. Again is the complete engine. The blue parts are all the parts that you've obviously glued together. We've got one B. So you put them together. It looks like the bed of the vehicle. And under here this axle here. And then again we've got our yellow parts where the glue is going to go. And all these parts are going to meet. So you're basically putting this onto here. Now just to keep in mind again. This is suggesting to dry fit this. But as you build your own. As I say, if any of this is confusing, go back and check the symbols. So we're putting this part here together. That's what it looks like once it's glued. So the engine is going into the bed here. And you can see these parts coming in on the side. 
and then also they fit here and here and then these two parts here are coming in this is showing obviously how this piece goes together this side is just symmetrical to the last side so you have one on the left and one on the right and then yet again it shows a nice bird's eye view of how it all goes together and we've got one D these parts are going together so you can see these parts here this part goes on top of here that's what it looks like when it's together and then these parts are coming down into here so that's when it's glued together it suggests to paint this and then you've got two other images of different angles now we've got a dry fit here again I guess all these like little fiddly parts here but yeah it doesn't seem too bad it's like a spring with this top part on it and then the two sides I guess where the doors and the sides of the vehicle are coming into the middle here a couple of glue points here we got it along the bottom there and these two circular parts then it will be the same on this side so we've got 2B here the blue is where these two last pieces have been glued together but on top of that you've got the front coming in these little glue points here these circular parts and then you've got these two side parts that are coming in and then going around to this pipe that runs through here but also you've got these two little parts here the bottom of it that glues on and then also just this back part here and you're connecting these two pipes together and then it comes down onto it. We've got 2C so it shows yet again all the blue parts that you've put together but on the side here you've got this pipe looks kind of like an exhaust you've got the few contact points there the same on this side then you've got the front ram and yeah the exhaust is going to have all these well, it's like a triple I guess exhaust coming out looks really nice so that's 2D both sides have that now we've got 2E you're putting together the wheels so they come in two parts you just glue a bit in the center and around and then you put them together now you've got most of the vehicle done you can glue them into place just a symbol was to repeat basically that's what it looks like when it's glued together nice buggy design really cool looking you've got a bird's eye top down view of it and then you've obviously got the front tires here so times two basically a slightly different design circular in the middle and then a bit jagged around here but you're sort of gluing in between these these spikes here two of them then you've got free a so you're starting to put together the orc here so the orc is sitting down here and you put in the torso on top of that on top of his legs and then you put in the head on quite simple you also put in the back of the chair on him and it says to paint separately which i'd suggest as well any vehicle really if you can it's good to paint the orc or the driver and crew if you can and then put them inside the vehicle it's going to be hard to get to the vehicle with him in there but also it's going to be hard to get to little parts of him like if he's glued in you're not going to be able to get to his legs properly and stuff like that but yeah now it's suggesting to glue him in place you can see the yellow there where he's going to be glued it's suggesting to dry fit so you're putting the arm on him here his steering arm you see the glue points there and then you've got a top down view it's nice the orcs in green and the part that you've glued on is blue we've got 3c and 3d here so you put in together you put in his other arm in which is his burner bottle arm so suggesting to dry fit this again so the gun just has its little ammo box that you put on the side as well now this part's saying not to glue so i don't really know why it's coming in here not sure why you wouldn't glue it so maybe dry fit it and see if it's secure in there possibly glue if it's not so secure but that's something that i'd have to explore once i've done that got free e here and that's the orc that we're just going to look at in a second so the gun goes into here and then the orc 
we'll take a look at him now so he's in two pieces we put in it together side by side but he's sort of posed on an angle one side has his burner bottle in his arm and hand already have his other arm here which is going to go up and onto the gun and then you have his face and to paint this in sub assemblies so his hands are coming in here he's holding on to this nice big gun which looks amazing a better view of it here it's actually got some nice little teeth hanging off here and stuff and then the gun is quite simple obviously it's sanded to glue this and then that's how it is above and paint this sub assembly but you've got the gun the bottom goes into it and the front here it's like a triple barrel almost then you've got the little grot here the grot blaster yet again paint him sub assembly he looks really cool he's sort of coming in on an angle as well looks really cool he does now you've got this little git at the front terrified because he's been strapped to the front of the vehicle for doing whatever he's done wrong looks quite weird there but you can see him posed more here which is quite interesting how to correctly put him in so don't put him facing upwards in these two different angles or positions don't have him looking like he's shooting the sky like birds out of the sky have him hanging out but then shooting to this right side of the vehicle and then 3g is the last step and that's just gluing the vehicle to the base but like i suggest in most of my videos blue tack it to the base as you're painting various parts but also so you can take it off after and put it to the side and then you can add all your texture, grit, gravel, sand, whatever, tufts to the base and then you can glue them back on after. It's just a lot easier if you were to get to this stage, glue it and you, you obviously have to work around the vehicle if you were to do your basin. You have a top down view of the Death Skull colour scheme and then you have a side view of the evil sun's color scheme now we'll take a look at the english part of the rules boom dacker snaz wagon boom dacker snaz wagon so your weapons you get a big shooter grot blaster mech special and burner bottles your abilities you get here we go mob rule dacker 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 speed mob grot gunner bellowing fumes ride and shotgun and explodes you get faction keywords or clan keywords vehicle speed freaks boom dacker snaz wagon now we'll take a look at this awesome looking sprue so we can see the engine here We've got one piece above and below looks really nice and crisp got our orc's body here so he's got a tooth strapped to him and you can see his skin pulled up with a piercing in there you can see the back of our grot here see some of the springs the piping got that really scared git here Looks really detailed though, as most of these buggies, new buggies are. Really awesome details. Like you can see he's got some, well, it's either a tattoo or it's some body modifications where he's been scarred for it to look like flames. So I guess it's almost you can use that as a tattoo, or as I say, they've, I forget exactly what it's called, but where you have the body modifications where they put like they where they scar the skin to look like certain stuff but yeah obviously these are pyromaniacs love their flames you see them sitting down quite nicely in his little sit down pose really nice details though the straps and the boots look really nice you have this part that the wheels go on to up here the grot blaster looks really nice really crisp little feet all the little toes and toenails or claws there look really cool 
you've got this awesome big shooter here looks amazing so much detail that is all this little part all the rivets and the ammo the bolts and stuff looks really cool even like an exhaust this was the part where the bars come together got a few little bits here springs and i think that might be where the gun i think that might go into the gun i've got a glyph here we'll flip it over in a second have a look you got the tires like how the tire has like a rim with a glyph like a speed freak sort of glyph in there more bars and parts of the body of the vehicle you got the front ram with the front grill there looks really beasty looks pretty devastating it's these nice big spikes on it so you've got the bed of the vehicle actually looks really nice you've got these burner bottles and then you've got all these shells here you've even got some dials and stuff there I'm not sure now you've got the other side of the vehicle's tires and you get two more tires there get all these parts look really nice so this is a really nice kit you got the guy in half he's got a burner bottle some shells and teeth on him now these orcs are so good like just how the teeth are all strapped to them always and obviously depending on what they're doing so these are the burner boys and They've got their burner bottles strapped to him. And again, one little annoying part is the faces, how they come together. It's like, there's the neck and then they have this square part that the face is going to slot into. So you know they're stepping away from the orcs that have the little ball joint part. Which is a bit annoying. But they do look really nice. They have the exhaust systems here. Some other parts that you connect it to barrel here it's really cool this little gridded part of the floor it's a really nice orc face a little bit simple but still nice got a bit of a earring on him really nice parts here it's all similar to the other side that i was showing really the steering wheel here with the orc face his one's a little bit more unique i guess so he might be the shooter my guess because he's got his mouth out and sort of tongue in his throat like he's having a great time he's got a little he's got a little earring around this ear as well so that's that body of the grot that's on the front of the vehicle he's got quite a few scars it looks like you know they're not happy with him and they've scarred him and tortured him and then they're going to st stick him to the vehicle now have to flip it over so i can show you this rest of this grot i really love that face and that grot it looks really cool great goblin that is nice big nose the ears are really cool the facial expression as well really good this is a part of the engine that you couldn't see from the other side of the sprue there's another angle for the orc looks really cool this side you can see this stuff a lot easier so the glyph and like that triple barrel really love these burner bottles this one's obviously ignited and it's really cool love that. that but that's the sprue for the boom daka snaz wagon now i really love these crazy pyromaniac gits really love the tattoo or the body modifications that one had just sort of encourages you to give them some pyromaniac looking tattoos or something like that it's going to be really nice to put together and to build and then obviously paint but yeah i hope you enjoyed that unboxing and review but let me know in the comments what you think of this kit 
But as always, I appreciate you watching. This is G the Hyper Sapien, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.